So we're going to discuss reaction of an ester with a Grignard reagent, and this is covered in the carboxylic acids and derivatives, nucleophilic acyl substitution and alpha substitution reactions chapter. The first thing we're going to look at is the reaction mechanism. And reaction of an ester with two equivalents of a Grignard reagent forms a tertiary alcohol. So here is the mechanism for that transformation. In the first step, we will react one equivalent of our Grignard reagent with the ester. The Grignard is the nucleophile. The nucleophilic site is this carbon-magnesium bond. So we're going to take the electrons from the center of this bond, donate them towards the electropositive carbon in the carbonyl, pushing them onto the electronegative oxygen atom. And we form this unstable alkoxide ion intermediate. This alkoxide ion intermediate then breaks down with expulsion of RO- as a leaving group, and we form a ketone. Overall, we've converted the ester into a ketone and a nucleophilic acyl substitution reaction. The OR group in the ester is replaced by the R group in the ketone. Now, it's important to recognize that the ketone cannot be isolated. The ketone is actually more reactive to the Grignard than the ester is. This carbon here in the carbonyl is more electropositive or electrophilic than this carbon here. So as soon as the ketone is formed, it reacts with another molecule of the Grignard reagent, which acts as a nucleophile. It attacks the delta plus carbon, pushing the electrons onto the electronegative oxygen, and we form this second tetrahedral alkoxide ion. In the final step, on workup, we protonate the oxygen and we form a tertiary alcohol. The conversion of the ketone through to the tertiary alcohol is a nucleophilic addition reaction. So in summary, overall we've converted the ester into a tertiary alcohol using one, two equivalents of the Grignard. In the first reaction, with the first equivalent of Grignard, we form a ketone and a nucleophilic acyl substitution. In the second reaction, with the second equivalent of the Grignard, we form the tertiary alcohol and a nucleophilic addition. So let's now have a look at a couple of examples, and we're going to look here at chemoselective addition reactions. And the first example looks at the reaction of a Grignard with a 7-keto ester. So here is my starting material, and as you can see, we have an ester functional group and a ketone functional group, and these two functional groups are separated by five carbons. And on reaction with one equivalent of a Grignard reagent, you'll see that it's the ketone that reacts selectively with the Grignard reagent to form this tertiary alcohol. This ketone has the more electrophilic carbon atom. It's more electrophilic than the ester carbon, so the Grignard undergoes a nucleophilic addition to the ketone, and then on protonation of the oxygen we form a tertiary alcohol, and this is the new bond that we've formed. Let's now compare that reaction with the reaction of a Grignard with a 4-keto ester. So again, we've got a molecule containing an ester functional group and a ketone, but now these functional groups are only separated by two carbons. Similarly, if we react with one equivalent of a Grignard, followed by acid, what you'll see is that we get two products formed from this reaction. We don't get the same situation as we found earlier on. With a 4-keto ester, we get a lactone being formed together with methanol. So it's interesting to see why when we move the ester and the ketone groups closer together, we get different reaction products. So let's now have a look at the mechanism for formation of that lactone, that five-membered cyclic ester. And here it is. As we would expect, in the first step, the Grignard reagent acts as a nucleophile and it selectively attacks the ketone carbonyl and a nucleophilic addition. This forms this alkoxide ion here, which is now close enough in proximity to attack the carbonyl group of the ester. So we get a nucleophilic attack to the carbonyl to form this unstable alkoxide ion. We've formed the five-membered ring in a cyclization reaction, and we've got this unstable alkoxide ion, which now breaks down with release of the methoxide ion to form the five-membered cyclic ester ring, or lactone. On protonation, we protonate the methoxide ion to form methanol as a second product from that reaction. 